a habit tracker. A lot of people, you, you'll see a lot of habit trackers throughout the, the internet. They're free. You can, you can print them all, all as well. So print them off. And then a lot of times people just list everything. Okay, I want to track this. I want to track this. I want to track this. And then uh, kind of just goes about their life kind of after that. And it's kind of this detached way of creating a plan for yourself, right? So what the habit tracker um, that I have designed is highly, highly based around embodying the nine things that are going to ascend you to your higher self. We use brainstorming sessions and embodiment sessions to solidify these tasks, not only in our mind, but in our body and in our soul as well. So the soul knows what, what's going on, what nine habits you're, you're intending to implement in your life. Your brain knows, the brain usually always knows, but it doesn't let the rest of the body know. And that is what our job is here, is to actually take the intentional time to put aside time to plan each and every one of these these tasks, these habits. And even, even, even to the smallest of tasks, it could be something like taking a walk, going outside, okay? We still take the time to close our eyes and body. What does it look like when I go outside? What time am I going outside? What am I wearing? Is it cool outside? Is it hot outside? Do I have my outfit out for the day? It, what can I do to set my future self up to make sure that I get outside? Um, additionally, you, you're asking yourself, what's going to keep me from going outside? So you're listing those things. I will be too cold. Uh, it's going to be a gloomy day and the sun's not going to be out. Okay, how can I counter the sun statement? Well, even if the sun's not out, I'm still able to get outside. All, all of that stuff. So you... The, what we do here is we create mindful time and front load any kind of any kind of things that are, that are going to get in the way of you achieving those tasks. Okay, so with that, um, are there any questions so far? Because I am going to just drop a lot of information on you. Oh, that's so cute. A little kitty and kitty birthday party. <laughs> Do it. That would be so cute. <laughs> yes. So with habit tracking, so I did end up writing a book about this as well as designing an online program that is full of audio messages, full of videos of me explaining each and every process. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the book a little bit. The links for the online course and the ebook are all below um, for later. If you uh, find yourself really, really wanting to plug into this and really wanting to intentionally design your life, what I find is that you know, you, you'll show up to a webinar or show up to a class or something of the sort, and it's super empowering and, and very motivating, but then there's no action afterwards. And that's kind of what I special in, in terms of being a life coach and embodiment coach is the action. I am the, the action planner. Okay. So from here, I encourage you to use the resources that are going to help you in the highest way and you you know what that is after research you'll know you'll know what it is um so we uh, start off with goals okay so we're going to start off with a goal what is your goal what is it that kind of led you to a place where you are in a habit tracking class okay something within your mind, something within your physiological self said, I need to change something. There's something in my life or a set of systems in my life that are not correlating with the life that I want. And I'm going to set aside intentional time to make sure that I get it because you, you deserve this life. And, and it's all for you. You can have it. It's just a matter of sitting down and 
and taking intentional time to make it happen. So what is that goal? Okay. And I've heard, uh, I think it was Amanda. Yeah. Amanda's goal is to um, track her meals and cook and manage costs. So that is a super cool thing. And also habit trackers, the cool thing is you can you can have a meal prep habit tracker. You can have a fitness habit tracker. You can have a work habit tracker. I have a higher a higher self habit tracker. Um, spirituality habit trackers on my website that you guys can check out as well. It just says higher self. And the tasks that are there, kind of while I'm going over this, I would love to hear about your goal. What is your big goal that you are just channeling into this habit tracker for the month of March. We're going to be going into March. So this tracker we're thinking of is March right now. So what is your big goal? And as you type that, um, the higher self habit tracker, it has things like walk in nature, do breath work for five minutes, do journaling, uh, instant thoughts, mindfulness activity, meditation, I socialize, learn something new, stretch your body and do yoga, and increase your heart rate and move. Excuse me. And um, so this is my January tracker. I definitely get outside a lot. I pretty much, I'm really, really good at at my spiritual practices. My my uh, spiritual my uh, higher self tracker is always going to be just juicy and beautiful. Um, it's the work one. This is my work one from January. It has little more gaps, but um, I'm, I'm enlightened. <laughs> At least I'm happy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm not seeing any goals in the chat. So I would love to see what what is the foundation of your tracker. That's the number one thing is to, to understand why you're filling out this tracker. If it takes you a little more time to think of it, that's okay. Uh, to build support, there's this thing in black. That is awesome, yes. Okay, that is really good. And then, wow, yeah. After this, when you check into this every day, you'll find you'll you'll be having that support not only from just your you showing up daily for yourself, but maybe even your spirit guides, or maybe even just whoever you believe in. Um, really seeing, I I believe in the the spirit team and the universe, and they see that you're putting forth that action, and when you do that all the the stuff just starts to align it just starts to align um so super super powerful from there so we have the goal the big goal to build support support system and then so what you want to do is ask what if what if you were able to actually accomplish this goal what what would your life look like? That's what's super important to kind of figure out and understand. Because a lot of times we have a goal, we put it out into the world, and then it's just in the air. There's nothing holding it down. There's nothing, there's no purpose tied to it. So in chapter two, we end up going over the driving force and purpose creation. So what you want to do on your scratch paper right now uh, is, of course, write down your goal. We also want to write down your purpose. What is the purpose of this goal? Why? Why is it so important to you? And you can type that in the chat, too, if you'd like. Being accountable in a group setting is so, it's just so powerful. And the fact that you guys came here showed up for yourself is amazing. And then I have an embodiment session video in that chapter. And then so putting it into action. When you know the purpose of your goal, 
you don't have to keep going back to your goal to to really get the overview of what's going on. You're now a level below in terms of planning, or you could call it a level above, but you are grounding yourself. You're creating this foundation. Whenever you're off track and you don't feel like tracking anymore, or you don't feel like writing down all of these things, you're gonna end up um, just getting lost and you're gonna forget your meaning. And so that's when you come back to this place here in the place of writing down and ascribing purpose. It's so, so important. So important. I designed a tracker that ended up um, having all of the purpose on it. It's so important to just keep that mindful. So what I do is I'll write, um, it says task, habit, action, number one's purpose. And then it goes all the way to nine. And I literally sit here and you guys are going to do it too today and um, write down the purpose for every single action. And there's nine of them. Uh, write down the purpose of every single one. Why, why is it so powerful that it's holding space right there? Why is that task so important for your higher self, for your future self, for your March month that you had to write it there out of nine things in the whole world? There's a reason. And you remember that reason when, say, a whole week has gone by and you haven't tracked that. You come to your tracker and you say, why, have, why has seven days gone by that I haven't created a new product for my business? What is happening? Why is it happening? What's going on? Okay, so let's ground ourselves in the purpose. It's been seven days. Let's go to why I even have this on my tracker. Okay, so I create new products so that I can have more income, <laughs> of course. And <laughs> more income means, means a better life. So ask yourself, why are you not committed to this action that's going to bring you more income? You see how we just create questions for ourselves based around the tracker, based around accountability, based around intentions and based around purpose. Why, 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 self? Um, so that's great. And you can even turn around, make it positive. Wow, this is amazing. Why am I so good at writing content? <laughs> okay, I'm really good at writing content because that is the, the sole, that's what I get most excited about. So then you can start prioritizing. Okay, so since I enjoy writing content a lot, then maybe I can tie writing content to creating a new product. That way we're doing those two things together now and they're, they're paired up in my time and it's, there's more of a chance of it happening now. Hopefully that makes sense. I would love to hear from you guys. How's it going? How, any questions, any insights, any ahas? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. as you guys type, I will continue. Um, I've, I always want to do this class for like two hours. I think two hours, even an hour and a half is just perfect for this class, but I'm always like, go, 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 trying to squeeze it into an hour. <laughs> Uh, especially taking out the mindfulness time. Maybe I think next month for March, I'm going to do an actual embodiment session and it's going to be beautiful because it's going to be applicable. It's just too short in an hour to actually do an embodiment session, but I'd love for you guys to experience that. So remember that, so the next chapter is called putting it into action. Now that you understand your goals and your purpose of why you've chosen to initiate an intentional life and begin the steps it takes to build the life you desire, you can now understand how you can do such in a tangible way. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> at your habit tracker and you'll see that there are nine spaces for you to fill each box for 
uh, 28 days, 30 days, 31 days, depending on the month. Each space represents a powerful task, habit, action that you would like to implement and track every day, week, or month in order to ascend to your higher self. Each space holds power. Each space, each space holds attention to something that you want to build within your life. And it's so important to embody and cherish it as you push forward in your intention of action. Okay. So in this section, we'll label and learn to embody each, each habit, task, and ab action that will contribute to the self you are designing. That's something that I just always try to remind people is that we're in this life and we've kind of been designed up until this point. But an important thing to remember and notice is that you design your life every single day. Yes, there are other people who take part in it, but if you're not taking intentional part, then who on earth is creating the projection of where you're going? Who? You must. And to do this, you're literally writing things down. You're literally sitting and taking note of what your brain is delivering to you. And that right there is called uh, meditation is you you want to be able to sit with yourself sit with your mind and say okay mind what what messages do you have for me today and for you to get all of that out and start designing your life and creating the task habits actions that are going to lead to your higher self then that's when you're going to see a difference in your life um so yeah let's see so itemizing the task so here we're gonna do go ahead and get your scratch paper out this is all about you get into this dome i want you to picture this higher self this self of you that is just so powerful they know i'm gonna say they they know exactly what they need to do every day that's going to yield them the most the most light the highest spirits the highest money, the highest return, all of it. Every, all the abundance that you need right now that are meant for you, I want you to channel that into this powerful self, this powerful future self, and, and start designing, okay? So here's the question. This is the uh, prompt that I'm going to ask you. Is um, So... What is the one task, the one task, habit, or action that you can add to your daily life that will ascend you to the next level of your life? Ascend, rise. That's going to rise you to the higher level of your life. Okay. What is one task, habit, or action that I can add to my daily life that will ascend me to the next level of my life. You're gonna, you're gonna answer that right now. Most of the time we know, we know exactly what that task is. We know exactly what that action is. What are you avoiding that if you didn't avoid would just accelerate your life so much? So once you have that written down, you're going to think of another one. You will see a difference, Amanda. You will. Oh, you'd love it. You're going to come up with another one. And you're going to keep going until... I want you to just keep going. Just let them all flow out. And just think of all the things that... Okay, if I went on a walk more. If I... So you're... If you have cooking goals. If I... Actually, I'll, I'll add mine. Um... If I went grocery shopping on this day instead of this day, maybe it'll set up my projection for meal planning a little better. Um, 
all of the just you want it to be as specific as possible definitely so keep on flowing and definitely feel inspired to add them to the chat add those tasks to the chat you want to see intentional actions going forward i'll do mine Would anyone like to share? That's funny. Speaking of all those tasks, habits, and actions. And so if you have more than nine, um, that's okay. That's amazing. That means that you're you're liter you're so ready to step into this next self. And you are just flowing with ideas and ways that you can grow. And I believe that that I mean that's that at all is just super powerful. Uh, if you're right at nine, nine is a lot too. <laughs> Um, nine is a lot and those are ju just realize that everything that you wrote down all of it is just super powerful I'll mess that get me a text later. wow so from that you want to is is this happy birthday to your kitty so cute <laughs> is this Tiffany what you want to do from there you know when you have these um these high it kind of i mean it's a it's a little it's a ball essentially of a bunch of of things that need to happen what you could do from that is branch off little things okay get my text sorted what tech which tools what needs to be done with the computer what all needs to be done with the phone what is messed up and you're literally creating a list of all the micro details that need to be done to complete that because when you do when you write down something broad on here how do you ascribe a a check mark what is a what is a yes okay are you blanketly giving yourself credit for something or are we getting intentional and really honing in and getting those those uh tasks so be as specific as possible yes let's 